Adeleke Adeleye has defied the odds. His company produces stationery, and it's one of the few still in business in Nigeria. But Adeleye foresees a problem, the African Free Trade Agreement. We're the, we have the largest population, we have the largest market, so it's, it feels like we're given so much. We're given so much for not enough. The agreement is expected to increase trade among African countries by more than 50% within three years. It will give Adeleye access to a single market of over 1 billion people. But it will also have a lot more competition from businesses across the continent. Unlike Adeleye, many manufacturers in Nigeria have shut down their factories due to high taxes, its erratic power supply and poor infrastructure. Analysts say the trade deal will make imports cheaper and will lead to consumers buying more of them over Nigerian goods. Industrial groups say the trade agreement won't just disadvantage them, it also fails to address other problems. A harmonization of the custom arrangements, particularly not just the um, custom tariffs, but also non-tariff barriers and technical barriers, I think these are some that have to be negotiated among the participants in the agreement that will try to eliminate the possibility uh, of increased dumping and increased uh, smuggling. Similar concerns had caused President Mohamedou Buhari to stall negotiations on the trade agreement for five years. But his government finally signed the deal last month. The UN says it could make Africa the largest free trade area in the world in the next three years but it could also put entrepreneurs like Adeleye out of business. Adeshewa Josh, TRT World.